Hi Trey. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how um, it's a safe way that I use to lift up cars, especially when you don't have the shop tools at the shop. Okay. First thing you do is If you're going to do something with the chassis or the brake system, you have to, have to take the wheels off. You take off, loosen these lug nuts, take them all off. I leave usually two of them, and just loosen them up and leave those two there in case you know something happens when you're jacking up the car. Then the wheel stays on and you don't damage too much, damage anything or hurt yourself. Okay. And I have these bricks here. You stop the wheel like if you're working on the front, uh, like front left wheel. You block up the rear right so that it doesn't move. Because when you jack it up, it's going to lean. The car is going to lean to one side. And all the weight is going to be on that one tire, like on this tire here, for example. Then that one won't move. Another thing you can do is use the handbrake on this car. My car, you pull it up and engage the handbrake. Some cars have them by the uh, brake pedal. This one doesn't have it over here. Those two places are where the handbrake are. You can pull those. And if the handbrake doesn't work, use the bricks. Or you can use pieces of rock, large rock or a piece of wood or something. After you take the wheels off. Okay. That keeps the car still. Next. You want to get use this hydraulic jack which is the fastest way to get the car into the air as long as you can get the jack underneath the car sometimes the tire might be flat the tire might be flat and you can't get it so you might have to kind of lift up on the uh, lift up on the car a little bit and kick the jack under there at the same time or use a uh, factory jack. Like this one. This one comes with the car in case of emergencies. And this is good for lifting the car up off the ground. If you can't get the hydraulic jack up under there. Okay. You have your jack. And if you're uh, going to work under there, I always have a jack stand to support the vehicle by the frame. Okay, on this car, I turn the wheel so you can see where you want to put the jack the jack this jack okay you want to find a good part on the subframe like on this four I usually jack it up right here I get up under so you can see right here on this piece of steel right here probably up under this bolt maybe around that area to lift the car up it's a nice firm place to lift it that doesn't bend the frame doesn't bend the car like if you're working on it you want to bend that car or uh, damage it you know, they get mad you might have to pay for it or something okay so
get the jack about right where you want it. This uh, piece right here, line that up with the, uh, put that right underneath that little steel I showed you before. That's what you want to jack it at. Jack handle in. Make sure that the uh, screw is tight on there. That puts pressure in the jack. I'll explain what that screw does in just a minute. Okay, lift it up, making sure that that goes right where you want it to go. Under that piece of steel right there. Make sure it's right up under there. See, so just jack it like a, a pump at a time. Slowly until it starts to lift the car, and you can see exactly where it's it's pushing it up at. It makes you helps you make sure you're doing it the right way. Okay, and you just start jacking up. Jack up slowly. Now when the wheel starts to come off the ground, the car may move or shift a little bit. And you might hear a noise like that from the jack with a steel. Because it's just sliding around, everything's trying to set in place. As long as this, because with these jacks, they like to uh, lean from right here because it's a bad design. As long as it doesn't lean forward or back, you should be okay. If it starts to lean, then you take this jack handle. And see how it's made like that? That goes around the screw. And you turn it to the left. Very slowly to the left. It might be a little hard at first. But turn it, once you get it loose, turn it slowly and let it slowly come back down so that the car doesn't fall. Can you jack the wheel up? As long as everything's going right, you can keep jacking it. See the tires come off the ground. Again, I just turn the wheel so you can see where to put the jacks at. Usually the wheels are straight because it's easy to get the wheel off and it might be a little hard to get the jack up under there, but you can see you can see where, where it's going to. I mean what's lifting the car up. Okay. Jack up off the ground. See the tire coming up. Moves around just a little bit. you got the car up if you're taking the wheel off now would be a good time to take off the two lug nuts that uh, you loosened up take those loose take the tire off sometimes you might have to kick the tire or hit it on the back you have to lay down and hit it on, from the from the back of the rim the tire with a sledgehammer it will pop the wheel off sometimes it gets stuck you take the wheel off, if that's what you're going to do. Then you got to lay down. And put the jack stand, this is a jack stand right here. That's what you want to sit the car on under good point. Like, see how this frame is right here? 
Don't set it on the uh, control arm or on the boat. You might break it. Well, it might not be strong enough to hold the weight of the car. But you want to put it on a nice firm part of the frame. Now some GMs, those are other cars like a Monte Carlo or Chevy Impala. It has a big frame, so it has plenty of air you can set the jack stands on. So you set it there like that. You go back to your jack. To your jack. You take this off. I'm gonna use two hands for this. You put the uh, on this jack here. You put that onto the bolt. First, you got to get it loose. Once it moves, slowly turn it and let the jack down. Keep your eye on the jack stand. Make sure that it goes down onto the jack stand. So you went down very slowly and it's the frame of the car is sitting on the jack stand. So that's how you jack the car if you sit on the jack stand properly. You can make sure it's all the way down. Sometimes I jack the jack up if I'm going to use it. Just working on this one side, this one corner here, this one wheel. Jack the jack stand so it has double support from the jack and the stand. You can also push the car some. Make sure it doesn't rock or anything. Make sure it's on there safely. And uh, you can start working. Change the tire or any you know any work on there. Like the uh, the brake job I was showing you. Showing you that's how you got the wheel up and support it so you can do that work. Okay, now to get it down, make sure this screw here is tight. Turn it to the right, it should be tight. Don't over tighten it. You still have to turn it back to lift the jet, the car down. Put your rod in. Make sure the uh, jack sits where you had it before on the frame. Jack it up slowly. Make sure the jack doesn't lean when you're jacking it up. Because sometimes, like if you're on asphalt, that black kind of driveway, the jacks sink into the into the driveway. And sometimes they they may lean or, or move around, sink in there. And so you jack it up. You don't want the ground to be loose underneath the jack either. That can cause it to fall. Jack it up. Jack it up, you know, far enough, high enough, so that the jack stand is not touching the, the frame of the car. So lift it up. Okay. Now before you take the jack stand out, you put the wheel on and put the lug nuts in there. You can just hand tighten them, use the socket and put it on there, tighten it with your hand, tight enough so that the wheel stays on. You know, in case this falls, then you have the wheel there to catch the car. Go up under here. If this is extended the top of this jack is extended I'll show you in a minute you pull the lever here let it down pull the jack and stand up now 
Now with these, it depends how high you can get the car up or how tall the car is. Once you get in the air, you pull this up, clicks in place. Make sure to set these notches here, the opposite side of this handle. That's what locks it in there. And this, you can lift it up and you can set the car on it like this. Pull the lever, lets it down. Got the jack stand out the way. Again, take the handle. Put it on the, uh, on the screw. There's two hands for this. jack the car up. Now make sure uh, when you're done with that either if you uh you have the uh handbrake on let me get the light the handbrake is on Pull it up. Put your feet here, pant your thumb here. Pull slightly, push down at the same time, let it down. If you have the one by the pedal, you either have a lever that's under the dash, like where that little black square is. That's for the hood on this car. There'll be something like that around there. You can pull that or push down on the pedal. That's another way you can release the e-brake. Unlock the, wheel, the rear wheels. Or if you jacked it up from the front. I mean jacking up the rear. We're jacking up yeah, from the front. If it's a front wheel drive from the rear. And you can and you put the bar, box here. You can just take the wheels out. Sometimes you might have to kick them out. Kick them out like this. Get my phone to tie. And uh, make sure everything is cleared away. And uh, you, can, you should be able to drive the car again. That's how you jack, jack up the car and let it down. It's probably too long, but I hope you uh, are able to understand that. and can lift up the car. I'll show you about another another job I can have you do.